Our CES 2019 coverage is made possible by Super O, Republic of Gamers, Arosi, EK, and Patriot. Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com. Now one of the brands that we work most closely with is AlphaCall. Now they were at CES at the Mirage, CES 2019, so we went to check out some of their products. Now some of them we'd actually seen before, but in more of a kind of prototype stage. So from CES 2018 through to Computex, and now kind of a final finished form. This is the Ice Bear and Ice Bear Extreme. Imagine it as kind of a link between AIOs and custom loop water cooling. Essentially, instead of having a radiator a pump or a pump res and then the res and tubing and everything else in between you've essentially got it all inside one unit so what they've got is a radiator even including the fans the pump and res all included inside one device the only thing that kind of comes off of it is the tubing and the CPU block itself uh, Basically, there is two, two different designs. There's the Ice Bear and the Ice Bear Extreme. One comes with the CPU block and the tubing, one doesn't. So it's entirely up to you kind of which route that you decide to go with this. Obviously with the tubing, you can remove this and sort of extend the, the system out to other parts of, of your system. If you wanna maybe water cool your GPU instead of your CPU or however you wanna do it, it just kind of gives you a little bit more flexibility. In terms of the CPU block, it is kind of what you generally expect, which is the Ice Block XPX. Uh, in black. I'm not actually sure, but I believe you should actually be able to remove the cover on it in case you want to use a different color like you've seen with us before. So you can use the red, the black, the silver, sort of polished chrome, that kind of stuff. But overall, it looks really, really cool and something that we're really eager to test to sort of see how it performs against a fully fledged custom loop system, as well as testing it against a conventional AIO. The next thing isn't necessarily a new product, it's just kind of a new design. Now it comes down to the threaded ports on the radiators, on the blocks, uh, on the pump reses, everything. So what they've actually done is they've redesigned uh, the ports themselves, which means that you can still use your current fittings, but you can just use them in a slightly better way. So they've actually managed to change the design of some of the radiators, some of the blocks, and it just allows you to kind of put your fittings in, but they sit a little bit more kind of flush as it were. This is something that they've actually done on some of their server grade products in the past. And now you've seen on your on their GPU blocks and now they're kind of moving it onto the next one. So you can kind of see as design develops, they, they do pick up feedback from consumers and reviewers and just kind of their own internal feedback and try and make their products better. This is something I love from companies when they try and better themselves and try and bring out something just a little bit better. Another cool thing is AlphaCore were actually tasked to make a very, very small res combo. Now, some of their competitors were tasked with exactly the same thing and came out with still a relatively large unit. AlphaCore came through with this tiny little monster, which like I say, essentially is a res pump combo. And as you can see, is very, very small. There's different ways of mounting it in terms of the brackets, but this will be available very, very soon. And I think is gonna be very popular. Hopefully they do some slightly different designs, maybe ones where you can see through, but at this kind of small footprint, I don't even know if that's possible. Now, one of the coolest things that AlphaCool had, excuse the pun, is the AlphaCool Ice Ball. Obviously, we've seen res pumps that are kind of tubed. We've seen sort of, you know, in a cylinder kind of form. We've seen square ones, rectangular ones. We've seen distribution blocks. I don't think we've ever seen a ball type design. So what we have here is actually quite a big ball. It was probably a little bit smaller than a football, maybe about two thirds of the size. Uh, English football, not American football, hence the round shape. Uh, but what we have here is we have the ice ball, which is a res pump combo with a ring around the edge. Now the ring obviously uh, gives you addressable RGB and there was a little controller on there so you can control the speed, the color and the pattern. I think this is gonna be perfect in a, a chassis that's maybe open plan, something even like the uh, in-win Winbot, which kind of incorporates the same kind of spherical design. It does look a bit, I'm gonna be honest, garish, I guess you could say, and it is only gonna to appeal to a small sort of amount of the market due to, well, the way that it looks and obviously how big it is. But I honestly think that this is kind of the next step in where things go, just trying to make things a little bit more unique and standing out from the crowd. Something that I always welcome from brands. Lastly, it's all well and good seeing Alpha Cool products, but what good are they when you just see them on their own? So at the suite, they had plenty of mods for you to look at where it was incorporating a whole host of Alpha Cool products. So all I'm gonna do for the rest of this video is roll the montage of exactly how they look.
So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments section below which one of the kind of upcoming new products from Alpha Call are you looking forward to the most? And which one of the mods did you like the most? Personally, I like the one with the big kind of X on it. The way that they made the tubing, uh, you know, actually kind of make up part of the the overall design and theme of the case I think was you know pretty damn nice so there you go remember to check out the rest of our CES 2019 coverage and I will see you in the next video see you later bye bye Alpha Cool came through with this tiny little monster which essentially like I say is a rump rump kind of maybe even well, I mean it, yeah <laughs>